Good eye, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we'll be doing this old fashioned toilet. All right, all right, let me speak some kind of English. So, what's going on, y'all? So, this is my old toilet. I'm gonna be replacing it with this supposedly no clog uh, toilet. So one thing you want to make sure is that you get the measurement for your old toilet for across here and the height so that way it doesn't um it doesn't uh it's not too too much. So my my toilet which is the old one here from here to here measured a little bit over 20 inches and this one was 17 and a half 17 and 3 eighths. So it is actually supposedly supposed to be shorter so i shouldn't have any problem but sometimes this might be longer and if you have shelves over your toilet then you want to take that in consideration but they had more fancier ones some that were self-cleaning um that you bought this little uh packet uh blue thing and you push a button up top and it cleans itself but you know youtube ain't paying me that kind of money <laughs> so this is a 10 year uh limited a warranty it should have a guaranteed no clog and a lifetime warranty but yeah i ain't make it so before i can get this new one installed i gotta get the old one out so i sprayed it with my no top double d 40 so what you do is have some little caps on it so i just pop those off with a flathead screwdriver and i spray them on this side they might be a little bit have a, have some calcium deposit on them because I think this one actually a 14 fits on this one but it won't fit on this one because of the uh, calcium deposit on there so I'm going to be using an adjustable to break it loose and then the pliers to kind of take it off so what I'm doing now is I'm trying to get all the water out right I'm not really worried about the water that's sitting up top in this part. I'm more so trying to get the water that's in here. So I have this thing that I use to put transmission fluid inside the car. So I'm trying to use this to pump the water out. If you got a wet vac, that might work, but you want to get all this, you want to get this water below the level of the toilet. So when you, below here, so when you take the toilet off, you don't have water coming all over. So the most challenging part for me is going to be getting this water out. Uh, so far, this hasn't been working great. So I'm not going to be trying to school you guys on how to do this. I'm going to figure out the best way to get this water out of the toilet. Like I said, you can possibly use a wet vac or some kind of suction thing. But I'm going to keep trying to use this. It was working in some kind of way. But I don't think the water has the density like oil. So it's going to require a little bit of work, but I'm going to try to get this water out. And then I'm going to start trying to loosen these bolts up and go from there. And this is the width I was telling you about. Like if it's if it's too wide, it might hit the wall, depending on how close they got it. See, mine is just close to the toilet roller. So, yeah. All right. So I finally got this uh, pump to work. What I wound up doing was it had two red on there, but one was too long. So I just switched to a shorter one and I'm kind of getting this uh, stuff as far as I can in the toilet. And when I start pumping, so you got to, that's why you need a glove on. Mm -hmm. Pull it up a little bit so you can see. Mm -hmm. Can I lift this up? Uh, yeah, should ain't no point in touching that and then touching that. I don't want you to touch nothing else with that glove except the holes. Okay. All right. Pull it. Can you see? Yeah. All right. So, you see the water coming out? Yes. Can you see that thing? Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm going to try to get as much water as I can with this uh, pump.
Feed this all in as much as possible. You want to get all the water as much as possible. You're still going to have a little water on the floor. But this really is the hardest part about changing the soil. As much water. Right, so, trying to get as much as I can. And like I said, it ain't going to be perfect. Still, you're going to have to get a towel or something. Put it around. Try to get this hose as far up in here as I can. So, get this off. So, taking out the bolts that go down, that bolts the toilet down, one already broke off. Can't say it was shocker. And this was the, the easier one that broke off in here. So, the harder one over here, it just completely. It's just completely spinning down in there. So, I'm going to use this. Uh, this cutting wheel to cut it off because I can't even hope I, I mean at least if it broke off that's a big plus but I'm gonna try to see if I can get the cutting wheel to cut off because this one didn't seem too bad but the weak point is down inside underneath the toilet so I'm gonna figure out that right now I just want to get this toilet out of the, uh, um, the toilet out of here and go from there so I'm gonna Actually, I screwed it Alright, that's a little bit. This is rubber, is in the way. So I'm, I'm gonna come back to y'all when I cut it off. When I cut, when I cut the, uh, the other bolt off. And, um, yeah, but. Uh, the calcifies is, is, is metal and water, so after a while, it's just gonna, you know, it's gonna do its thing. So you just gotta work with what you got. You know, once I kind of make up my mind, I'm gonna do something. Then I gotta follow it all the way through. So I'm, I'm already in it. Uh, the bolts broke off to to bolt it down to the to the floor, but um, yeah, it is what it is. If you push from the shelf, I just drill new holes in the toilet. <laughs> but um. I'm gonna try to cut it off the that bolt is a little bit of a tight spot so it's hard to video down in there and 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 uh get it cut so we'll come back once we cut it out all right y'all so i finally got it got this one cut off you can see down here um it's cut off so with both of them off and the water out i'm gonna slowly start trying to i got a plumber's crack going on Work this toilet up all right, I'm expecting water to be coming up. Hopefully not, but, oh, crap. <laughs> Before I uh, forget, you got to detach. Uh, there's a connector under here. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to get a bucket and a rag and try to disconnect it real fast. It's going to be water. So when you when you come on when you unscrewing it come down come down come down when you when you unscrewing it right try to keep pushing up on the hose while you unscrew right so when you when you done screwing once you get it all the way off you can kind of like pick it up and put it on there come for the that much water come down. Yeah, you can always take the toilet off in sections, right? But I'm trying to avoid as much water spill as possible. So I get that out, move that over there. Try to get this toilet. One pull.
So, this is the first time you've seen a whole toilet roll, right? Yeah. So, this guy is going to take exciting. on a bag. Yeah. Clean up my area a little bit. Just a tad. Yeah. And, um, okay. So these are what broke off. So pull this up. Yeah, okay. So it just the bolts just sit in a groove. Is it recording? Yes. The bolts just sit in a groove, so you just it ain't nothing if they break. Don't so don't lose your lunch if the bolts break off, right? Because they, they literally just sit in a the groove. They're really just to hold the concrete, the uh the toilet in place, but it's nothing tremendous, so just try to dig it up out of the groove. Just like that. So hopefully the new toilet comes with um new bolts, but you can see they kind of sit down in there. You kind of get them in the pocket, so you want to kind of clean this area out. And you supposed to have gloves. I don't know, for some reason, I kept taking mine off, putting them on, taking them off, putting them on, and wind up without gloves. But, um, yeah. And you can also, while you're at it, check to see if there's any clog or any anything stuck in the, uh, in the drain. For us, we got stuff stuck in the drain. But uh, I don't think it caused a clog. And I'm going to edit the part out what's stuck in the drain. Definitely edit that out. But, um... How'd that get in there? We'll come back once we all get ready to open up the new box and see what's in there. So, yeah. Let's go. Alright y'all, so I'm just running through the box real quick to see if they if they came with the bolts and all that good stuff in there. So you can take this out separately. Right, you can you don't have to be like me. Alright. You can bring it, you can bring it, you can open the box up outside and bring it in separately. Alright, so this is the tank and the cover. That off. This is the seat, right. and the seat comes with um, some of the stuff in there. So the main thing I want to see, right, is if this comes with the hardware. Not the hardware for the seat. But the hardware to bolt the uh bolt it on the ground has got the cap like we needed. Let me put this down and rip this bag open. Alright y'all, so I see the cap. Alright. Um and I'll let the wife figure out how to assemble. They like all that assembling stuff. I see the little greasy stuff. Okay, here we go. So it does have the replacement bolts to fit in there and see them with a the shared edge so I wanted to make sure because apparently they know they're going to break so seems like the, the, the toilet comes with everything to install if anybody was worried about and it comes with this um, they call it the no crash um, seat so apparently when you open it up and you close it, it doesn't slam. So we'll go over the whole thing once we install it. But the main thing was I uh, wanted to make sure everything that we need is in the box. And like I said, you can assemble the whole thing separately. And you're going to... I actually did a toilet video uh, before where I replaced inside of here. 
right and then the tub sits on top of this so yeah um you're gonna need a, a kind of like a sandwich plate to put in between there and you're gonna need one to put in between the, the toilet bottom and and that but i just wanted to open the box to do an unboxing also and so i guess this will be an unboxing the installation video and the wife is gonna go through the manual and here's the manual for the instructions so shows you how the bolted in there the plastic the wings the nuts um the seat the water section installing the seat and all that but yeah just want to make sure everything was in the box so getting ready to install the new one so we're putting this piece in here it's real smushy real spongy and the old one got to take up so we're gonna, I'm gonna try to clean this out so to get down to just bare metal it smushes out so i'm gonna kind of get this one out and then once we clean it down I'll come I'll come back once we um get this all this mushy stuff out. Okay, let's stop. So these are the pieces that came with the toilet. We were just kind of putting them together um outside just to kind of see how everything worked. So these are called what a T bolt. Mm -hmm. And and this is the sleeve. So now what we're gonna do going to start putting everything together so these these plastic these plastic pieces will replace the the metal ones so first I'm going to put these in I kind of catch the little sleeve on them before I put them in come on work with me I'm um put these in here Matter of fact, mm. I'll get the, this here first. Let me see. Put this all down in here like this. Right. It goes down in there. This goes like this. Goes like this. And I think you're supposed to tighten up the sleeve ahead of time. I'm gonna tighten tighten this up, kinda get it get it tight before you put the toilet on there. Yeah, so instead of fighting with um the toilet down in there, you're kinda gonna get the sleeve and the T-bolt tight together. Alright, you wanna make sure you get it in there nice and tight. As tight as you possibly can. Alright, sorry. So kinda get this as tight as you possibly can in here. Alright. Still gonna need to move it a little bit because so you can get the holes lined up. The idea is to get this as tight as possible. This here, little cover, look in here, like so. 
on there like so and it press down all right and uh, make sure hopefully er, it's it's all nice and, and tightened up in there or you're just gonna be smushing the uh the thing all over the toilet and um get the this piece in in here Yep, yep, the pointy piece right here on and down. Please, again, I can't stress enough to use damn gloves. And these are way better than. And there you go. And this in here. Get this one over here. So we're gonna we have these additional piece now that goes on the, the tub. So this came in the bag. So I was, I was just kind of sitting everything over there. See, so has the square that the inside. So it goes right over here. Just kind of make sure everything is like nothing got loose in shipping. It's over here. If you guys remember one of my previous videos, I had taken this apart and replaced this piece because sometimes they leak. And this tightens up with this tool. Forgot what this tool is called. Uh, attachment, attachment tool. This fits over here. So what I'm going to do is sit this on top of the toilet, and then put this uh, these little washers on, and then um, yeah. So remember the rope. This piece, the fitment piece. Uh, goes closest to the uh, to the sink for us, anyways. So, get this up. Come, come, come here, this way, let me. Mm, you gotta, gotta get up in. Yeah, don't be, uh, cause they need to see. Remember, you can see with your eyes what they can. So let me get this thing lined up in here. All right. Work it on, man. Push, bro. Push. Push. We're going to push these through, feed them through the bottom under here. Get this. Kind of put my hand inside of the. Push it on there. Hang it up. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Your finger's just in the way. You get down your knee. <laughs> no, you're not. Oh, you, that's your knee. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So, I got this. I like that. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. Alright, now. So, what I'm going to use is a... Uh, my camera. My camera lady is like way like a mile away from me. And the toilet is over here. Alright, so what I'm going to use is a flathead to put up here. 
really need a longer flat head than this. Um, actually, pause. so y'all can see the difference in the screwdriver. It's like at least four times the length of the normal one. So I'm gonna put this in here because I don't want it like damage anything. And you can see my hand is all the way up here. And now I can just reach under. I'm gonna just reach under and slowly start snugging it up. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Don't don't fully tighten it until you kind of um, run both of them up, so you can get the, the the top. You can get this this piece down. The um. The water retainer thing um evenly down it's just like tighten down an engine block you um you never want to just tighten down one side you kind of want to go crisscross so it tightens down evenly so it doesn't kink or it doesn't have a, a lift on one side and tighten on the other you just kind of want to go down Here's the adjustment tool. You can hear the uh, little plastic pin kind of like walking. It's walking up on the thread. I know she's fascinated with me, but I don't want her to record me. I want her to record the talk. I'm recording the whole thing to see what you're doing. Uh, remember. Remember to turn it the proper way. It's just like taking off a bottle, uh, putting on a bottle cap. And just kind of hold it up here. All right. Tighten. Once you've gotten it, once you got it like the, um, as a, a really, really, when, once you've gotten it, it tightened enough, where well, you feel like you're gonna really tighten on them when you do so but initially you do not want to start tightening one all the way and these uh, i promise you after a couple of years these that i'm these bolts that these nuts that i'm tightening down is gonna um after the water and all that sit on them yeah they're gonna um be rusted after a while so, yeah. yeah, you kind of come in here, look in, look in here, in here. Yes, you to, so you want to get the, the, the washers kind of pancaked out a little bit. If you notice like around it, it's like pancaked on both sides. That's kind of now how you know you get a good tighten on them. The washers, it is spread. And it might be a good idea over the years to, to to lubricate the threads um underneath every once in a while so yeah and the, uh the guy at the store that i bought it from said to make sure you keep the receipt that's american standard i guess american standard make this toilet but uh to keep the receipt so any parts that you're going to need and what i'm probably going to do is tape it to the side of the toilet but in the receipts that you might need, you might have to order it directly from the manufacturer. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to be putting on this. You're going to put on this piece. And this definitely is too short. So, that's about it. Got to get a longer one for this. It definitely did say it's, um... Yeah, this is definitely a, this is a taller toilet. So I'm going to try to see if I get a longer one of these piece. But um, what we're going to do is, while we're here, right, we're going to test it by running some water in it. So before I get the water connected up on there, I'm just kind of, well, before I leave, I'm going to kind of like pour some water a bucket of water before I even connect any water to it. I'm just going to get a bucket 
and um, pour water down in there to make sure it's not leaking from anywhere down in here. And then uh, we can just run to the store and, and see if I can get a longer uh, toilet bowl neck thing. Okay. So you can pour it. Ready? Mm-hmm. All right, so real quick, I just realized that before I even leave, I can test the toilet, right? And I can pour water in here because I thought that if the hose wasn't connected like this one, this one has... Well, actually, yeah, you can fill the water. It won't leak. Oh. That's funny. That it leaked. <laughs> the, the one time I got water on the floor it was I got water in a bucket. So I'm just kind of filling up and neck here. Let me dry the floor up a little bit because I don't want any false alarm. And I'm going to flush it. See what? Oh, never mind because it's got to fill, fill up in here first. So the first flush. Alright. So, before I even connect the water fully to it, I kind of want to do a bucket check. So make sure any water coming around. So while I'm filling this up, the camera lady is gonna pan around the toilet and see if there's anything coming up. Alright, so I'm gonna pour the So they said this toilet uses much less water to flush than um than the previous, than, than, than the current toilet. And, so this is the old cover from this toilet, from the previous toilet. You see here, it's on there. And this is the cover for the new toilet. You can see it's a much smaller in, in width, but taller in height. So it takes up even less space than the old one. It's just a little bit taller. And try not to spill no more water on the floor. I'll put it, I could pour the water directly in there, but I really want to test the, the, the test it from top to bottom. So I'm gonna put some more water in. Give it his first flush. All right now. So, moment of truth, right? So while this water is running, right? Come on. I don't see any leaks. We'll, we'll definitely find out over the month. So I got some newspaper. So they said the toilet is virtually unpluggable. So. Everything. Toilet clog, taking it. I'm taking it back. So that's about three, two sheets of toilet of newspaper. So I'm about to put some more water in here. Talk about this uncloggable. Let's see. Let's test this. Are y'all ready? Let's see. Okay. Oh, One is all club with them. They ain't going down. They ain't going down in there. <laughs> Let me try it one more time. I'm going to talk club with me. It's all club with if it ain't if nothing going to go down there. It's going to sit on top. But maybe, maybe, you got to try it one more time. To see, um, <laughs> yeah, this crap don't work. I'm taking it back. I got the receipt, but I'll find out now. Well, I'm halfway here. <laughs> Stand behind they product. All right, let's see. Hell for it. ain't no going down to that damn toilet. So no wonder they ain't clogging. Let's 
see you. Uh, don't go down here. One more time. I need to make sure I'm getting my money's worth. That's all I'm saying, y'all. That's all I'm saying. This was $219 pre-tax in the state of Maryland. And it's six cents to the dollar. So it would equivalent to about 200 and about $23, roughly. Or more than that. My, don't, don't square me on my mat perfectly. But I would like to know that. It's not the most expensive toilet. But I would like to know that they stand behind what it is and hopefully if I put it on YouTube and they see it they give me one of the fancy old toilets huh? one of the heated seats toilets so let's try this one more time alright batter up man I don't know I don't know about that unclogging part I mean the water is still going down but it just won't I guess it won't take you. I guess it literally won't take you. <laughs> it won't take you. So. Can you say crap? I don't know, man. This, uh. I don't know. I'll just take this out. I don't know. But, um. I don't know. I want to see. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to stuff nothing in there because I'm pretty sure ain't nothing gonna go down in there. But um, I don't have no um, what's them ball they was using? Golf ball. Yeah, I don't have no, I don't have no balls to flush down the toilet. I mean, I ain't gonna use mine. <laughs> but um, y'all seen I tried it with a newspaper. It just wouldn't take it. So um, I don't know. I got it installed. If you guys want to update. Um, leave your comments down below and I'll let you know if I have any future problems. Um, see, I tried to put the newspaper down in there. It just wouldn't, literally wouldn't take it. Um, but it's not a difficult install and I think they've fixed all the problems. Except for the fact that the hose is not, is now not uh, long enough. And that's in, in part to the toilet. I think it, it sits up a little bit higher, which is great for me. I don't have to go down as far. But, um... What I'm gonna do is, we're gonna come back. Um, matter of fact, we do the seats now. So pause it. All right, y'all. So you about to throw on the toilet seat. So it's just got little little covers that you just pop right off to get to the holes on the toilet seat, and then then line them up. We're here. Yeah, I'm assuming. Man, the hole, man, this toilet look look clean. Man, that's the cleanest toilet I've ever seen. They better <laughs> you enjoy. Nice they better enjoy its cleanness. It can be how it's lined up. That's how it's lined. Oh. Okay, let's see. Okay. So this. So. Oh my God! Oh. I didn't motion my fingers. <laughs> I don't even think nobody <laughs> advertised you advertising your business. All right, y'all, so everything for the toilet seat um, came together. Let me put the thing on. She had to do everything all proper. I just get the screwdriver and dig in it and pop it open. It's not going to open like that. There you go. There you go. All right. So... It literally comes with some plastic um, connectors, so we're gonna come back. All right, y'all. So I'll show them what you do. Okay. So she has the 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 plastic nut. She dropping through. Drop both of them through. One. She learned the butter to go the other way. She went the wrong way. There you go. And bam, just like that, she had it off. Nah, it took a while though. I'm gonna go around here. So she's gonna get the little plastic. Get it. Oh, 
once you gotta figure out which way it goes. And I'm gonna go ahead and hold this. Go ahead. So the, the 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 seat is not quite complicated, but what what I'm gonna let her know is that you want to catch it first, and then I make your adjustment because it has a, literally like a groove. So wind that wind it down. So you want to catch it and wind it down as far as possible, and literally it has like a little slot in there where you can slide the toilet back and forth, so you can sit the Toilet seat forward if you want. Am I yeah. spinning it the right way? I have it like this and I went up. Yeah. So, just catching the seat on. And this this is going to be a long time. So this is going to be supposedly unclogged, cloggable, unboxing, no slam. Is it no slam seat? Yeah, I think so. uh, uh, soft, soft closing, or it's supposed to be one of them seats where you, when you let the seat go, it don't slam. So you don't tighten that up too much, right? It's gonna move. Okay, that's that's good enough. All right, same thing with the other one. No, 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 no. You ain't, you, ain't, you just caught it. We gotta tighten it up. Oh. But what you got? What you gotta do is catch it, and then we see um how we like the seat, how we like the adjustment of the seat. Then you gotta adjust it and then tighten it. So you don't want to just tighten it right away. You kind of run it up snug, and then um, then all we gotta do is get the the water to feed for the toilet because this one is a little bit taller than that one. And um, yeah, so I gotta run to I guess uh, the hardware store. I ain't gonna advertise where I'm going. They ain't giving me no advertisement. And this hose, it looks like it's about I want to say maybe ah. Uh, uh, I want to say about half of a foot, six inches short, but I'm probably going to do about eight, eight inch to maybe a foot and then um, tighten it up some more, get a little bit snug on there where it's a little bit difficult to move. So that way if we, if we you know, nudge it, it won't move, but, or you can, different. you can just use this and hold it. There you go. In there. And now tighten it. How is it? This is good, but this one is like, it stops at a, you know, different point. And if I go any further, it starts to get crooked. Tighten it a screw part then. No, you got to hold the bottom. No, the other way. The other way the screws are. There you go. Contestant, see. Is it, is it holding on to the bottom? Oh, it, it was, yeah. Didn't even notice. All right. All right, not don't tighten it too tight. So remember, you gotta you gotta hold it on the bottom when you want to loosen it. This one, this one, there you go. Hold it. It's, it's too tight. Too tight. Yeah. Just a little bit turn. All right, all right. So we're gonna kind of line the line the seat up. Actually, don't look bad. Look like that's a good fit. All right. So just just I'm gonna hold it and you tighten it. Don't 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 nudge the toilet. Okay. Okay. Just tighten it. Oh oh. Gonna move then. Right? Loosen it up. Oh. You gotta put some weight on the toilet seat, tighten it. There you go. Go as tight as I can? Mm hmm. And then the other one. Come on. It's supposed to have, it's supposed to catch underneath the bottom on the toilet itself, but yeah, sometimes it don't work out that way. Come on, come on. You gotta hold it straight. You, you got that screwdriver on the angle. There you go. I'm gonna push it down while you're turning. All right, put the caps on. There you go. 
All right. So show her, show them how the 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 toilet seat work. Come up. Yeah. Takes forever to close. Well, if you got a cat, they gonna be out of luck. They gonna jump up in there <laughs> and be out of luck. But I'm just gonna get the water neck piece for it, and I kind of just want to see how it fills up, stops, um, how it works on its own on its own uh, cognizance. So. We're gonna run to um to the hardware store and get the other line and then come back and put on the final touches and always remember to use your thread tape and go remember when you're putting the thread tape to go the opposite way which which way you're gonna screw this. Um so it doesn't leak. So if, if you're gonna be screwing it this way on, you wanna put the thread tape uh the other way. Okay. No, actually you wanna put the thread tape in the direction that you're gonna screw it. Because if not, when you put it this way and then you screw it, whichever way you putting on, you tighten it, you put the thread tape on. Or if not, if you put the thread tape on, let me see, this way and you tighten it this way, it's going to loosen, it's going to kind of unravel it and then start leaking. So we're going to go get this. We're going to bring this with us. And just to keep in mind that this might be your only thing that you have to change. All right, y'all. So real quick, I had to buy a another piece of water neck, an another piece of water feeder neck, and this was about the amount I cut off of there. And it came with a little washer that it came with a little washer that slid up and down like this. And at first, I was a little bit worried how it was going to work because this is the part that goes up in there and the new, this piece literally came bare with a piece of washer so what I wound up doing was just cutting the, this in half taking off this metal piece and taking off this plastic piece right and then the washer I kind of just slid over it push the holes in here as far as I possibly can let me see how it's looking Make sure I ain't no dripping and all that. Right? Push the holes in here as far as I possibly can. Then tighten this as much as I possibly could. And it seemed to hold. I guess once you uh push this in and then you tighten it with a washer, it kind of crimps it in there. And then this, but you got to make sure you, you um, cut it to the proper length. See, mine has a little bow in it. Maybe I cut a little bit too much off of it. Maybe not. Maybe I didn't cut enough, but it's dry on both ends. And slap the cover on. And this is how everything came out. So, handle works. We do good. Uh, see how long it takes to full up. And uh, no leaks around. All right. Bolts in pretty good. Yeah. No leak, no leaks around here. I know my um, I told you uh, I had a leaking toilet that was leaking from here. Once it was just a seal in it that was bad. And, and it takes a few seconds to fill up, and it all depends on your water pressure. And the float and everything goes up fine. Nothing sticking. Mm, it takes about 30 seconds to full up. Let's see if this is a uh, slow closing also. Yep. So both pieces are slow closing. Kind of slow there, buddy. Yeah, gotta go. You gotta go. And this is slow closing also. takes a while to close but you guys already seen that feature and the flush it's 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 immediate it doesn't do all the swirling around and none of that just just drops so yeah the most trickiest part was getting these bolts out because they were all rusted and getting a, a, a proper line and for some reason they don't provide one in the box but like I said you can go to Home Depot and just buy 
this piece and it comes with a washer and a washer and it would look like literally like this much longer with a washer on it and then you just cut it to the proper size that you want you kind of attach it here kind of run it down to here see how much you need then you put the you put on this first right then you put on this next then you put the washer on the outside and you kind of stick this in, into the neck as far as possible then you tighten up on here and it kind of crimps everything together and holds it create a water seal um i was trying to look up videos on how to make the toilet water feed but there was none so i just kind of had to install it and see how it works um they have some metallic aluminum whatever it is a different kind where it would where, where it all looks like this but unfortunately when i went to home depot i got this piece so i had to make it work so i just cut it with a razor and you just yeah you just cut it with a razor make sure you don't crimp on crimp the inside of it and um yeah so everything seems to be working toilet is nice and sparkling and it doesn't take up as much space and yeah like i said you guys can definitely let me know um down the road if it um if it's really truly anti-clog they say virtually uncloggable i don't know what that means everybody's leaving a loophole but don't forget to like share and subscribe one love stay up stay blessed stay strong and no slam toilet seat